this lovely big piece. You can see the beautiful texas on it now. The sponge right on there. Now we're going to move into brushes on this. I'm going to be using, I think, mainly filberts because I uh, need to be painting more detailed edges and lines on here. So I'm going to start off with a half inch. Um, and I, I need to tighten up on things that I think were mistakes as well. And uh, things like that, I mean, because I'm painting, I'm not quite painting straight onto the painting. Um, it's a little more difficult for me to get straight lines. So I'm going to make some cream straight away and come straight into this. And Now I don't want to be using very heavy paint on this because I want to keep this lovely sort of ghostly effect of the uh, sponge rollers. And even the use of just blending it with the finger to get the same sort of effect. And we can bring these particles back a bit. Right, so let's go straight to her face then and we'll have a look at that. As you can see at the moment, it's uh, quite crude. We want to keep it simple and subtle, but just indicate things like face and so on there. So you just want to be subtle. I don't, if you're not careful, you suddenly start doing something like this and you find you've got to change the whole, repaint the whole face, and that is not what we want to be doing. There we are, you see what we're getting now, we're just starting to, that little subtlety of her features coming down here and I can use a bit of dark to, to bring out the... That's it. Now, rather than work on that, work on the thing next to it, a little bit more of that yellow ochre, and a wee touch of, tiniest touch of white into it, and we'll just bring that up a fraction. Let's just try and find the goldness of her hair there. It's coming down here. I'm going to get in front of it a little bit more because I say I'm painting at an angle here. I don't want. To. You see, I just with a few marks we can give an impression. So if you see with a little bit of subtlety what we can do. And then the light that comes behind her head here, this dark against light, rough against smooth, cool against warm, we can use these little bits of colour to bring the shapes out. So we're not painting within all the time, quite often we're painting just outside something to get the effects we want. There we are. Let's come back to these flowers here now. Because now we can actually start to paint in a bit more detail. And we can just indicate those in down there. Quite deep. So with little marks, little brush strokes, I'm going to just start bringing out these these colours. I've got the lights in. I'm just going to go back with the darks a fraction, and we'll look at the mixture that we did earlier on of Prussian and brown. I just want to look at the uh, shadow here. That just comes around her head. Again, we're putting the lights against the darks here to get these shapes. You see how her face now is just blending into the background there. And I think that's enough for her. I need to do a lot more there. I want to put some dark here and there just to bring it out, maybe. Like that. So we can look at the dark shapes in between here. Look at the green on there. Put a sap green going on. And into there. And the greens are going to play against the, the reds here, so that's quite important. A few colours like that can change everything because suddenly we see these these greens going on elsewhere as well, and that means I've got to start using the brush to tickle them in to other places. Let's come up and have a go at this chandelier. What we call the salient points, which are so important. I'll take a round brush for that. And I want to be using 
my mixture of white and lemon yellow to get my very light, almost just, almost just white actually. Now I've got to be a bit more careful of my drawing. So we need to come down from centre here. So I'm just going to just indicate, let's not go into too much detail, let's indicate these shapes and coming in and around them again in a minute as well. Not easy when you're working at an angle like this. So I've got to work at an angle so you can see what I'm doing. But um, See, I'm just making the salient marks, the most important marks about these objects. Getting a balance of these. You've got to look right, even if, uh, even if they're not being exact, they've still got to look right. And the darks again, because if we have the lights, we want those lights to shine out. We've got to look really good at Again, that's to do with balance. I've got to keep this balance going. Now, light blue, not quite happening for me. I need to just bring some very light grey blue, so I'm going to take some turquoise. Light, and a little touch of cobalt, and just bring some of these blues into this. A little bit too bright at the moment. That's better, just softens it back in. That glassiness, that slightly cool icy quality. I have to go a little bit stronger with the lights here in a minute. Not quite there yet. Don't overdo it, it's going to stand out like a soft thumb. And the same with these lights across here, we've got to get these. Sorted out too. Give my bigger brush for that again. Take some very light lemon yellow and white. Just make these a bit more solid. But it's on your brush if it's somewhere else and now's the time to get it in. There are lines of detail that we need to be a bit finer on. This is where I've had people trying to copy my style here and work on it. it. It can be loose but you do need to tighten up in some areas more than you might expect. Um, you can't just rely on just bad drawing. You've got to have a fairly good drawing to start with to work these colours in and around and then pick up on some of those salient points very carefully. face has sunk slightly, so I'm just going to go back into that, a little bit of our dark. I don't want to do too much, just want to just touch some of the shadow just there slightly on the edge of the nose. Little hints and indications just bringing out the most important points of things. Readjust my drawing. I should have drawn this in a bit better earlier on. And then the old touch of dark. We've got our lights, we've got to have light against the dark, so we've got to keep going with the little bits of dark against the light all the time. If we've got this here, this bit of dark just here is going to come in to play. And even edges of things like the table here, just to, just to find that edge a little bit more. I don't want to go too much into depth, into detail down here because otherwise the whole picture will start taking up in its own position. In a different corner, be more advanced in one corner than another, we've done all that. And how much further we want to go with this because we could keep adding details equally, we can say well got our impression, we've picked out of the bits we want, that's that. Even these little studs going on around here are rather fun. I'm almost, I feel, almost there with this now. I don't really need to do a lot more, I don't think. Let's look at the greens a little more. There's a few more sort of 
green tints hanging around this background here, which will play against the worms quite nicely. So we'll just play with those a little. Especially here, look where that hair comes through and down to the front here. Green just helps. Look for these colours, don't just assume that you've got them all finished. This green could come right through this holding a little bit together. Yeah, I don't want to fiddle too much now because I think I'm almost there actually. So, uh, but as if we do one colour, it affects another, and it's better to be careful about. I'm to make a very, very light yellow green. I'm not happy with those greens yet. There we go. I mean, it's such a difference, just one colour in the right place. Even the reflections of the glass just here. Make a difference. A little green here and there. You're surprised what it can do. I think we're there. Just be careful now because I'm overdoing it. effects of light that we wanted. I'm going to get much more into that now. There we go. We'll have to do it. Just quite happy we're down here. Not too. That block doesn't quite work there. But why? Try a little bit of warmth. A little bit of warmth going on, a bit more just there, maybe. Just to, just to blend it a fraction, I don't like that corner dropping off there. Even just one like that, that can make such a difference look. Okay, we'll sign it. Well, here we are then. There's a scale of the thing, it's quite a large one, quite fun. Next, we're down to 2430s again. More cafe scenes still, some very different effects to do both with brush and with rollers.